What's going on, everybody? So today, 1993 Fleer Flare. I bought these on eBay. Uh, these are cards from my childhood that I, I loved. I was blown away by Fleer Flare. So I was about 12 or 13 years old when they came out and had been collecting cards since I was a little little kid, you know, seven, eight, six, five, whatever it was. And I used to buy my cards. There was a store down the street from my house where I bought these um, called Readmore. So Readmore was a magazine store, if you could imagine. Just think of the death of magazines now. It was a store purely magazines and comic books, uh, but not a comic book store. And so they had baseball cards as well behind the counter. And so I used to buy my packs there. And these in 93 came out and they blew my mind, uh, you know, because they were so much different than the cards that I had previously, I mean, Upper Deck was nice and there started to be this escalation of nice cards and you started to see inserts and things like that around this time. But maybe, you know, maybe I'm a sucker as a kid, but these like the packaging, right? It looked really high end. It wasn't a pack so much as it was, there was not, a, it was not cellophane, it wasn't foil. It was a little carton, a little box. And so I remember these being pretty high end. I don't remember the price exactly. I'm gonna guess they were around three or four bucks, maybe five bucks a pack. So I got these because I wanted to check them out. And in terms of value, they haven't really maintained their value. Back when I got them, they were they were some valuable ones. Uh, this, the most valuable one that was then is still the same one now. There's an insert set one and four called Wave of the Future and there's a Mike Piazza um, that was pretty well. So let's take a look. But uh, these bring back such good memories. Used to The store was just down the street from my house. We had moved, I could ride my bike. Um, there was a there was a record store, believe it or not, called Rave Up, and then right next door was Read More, and I'd go and read more and uh, and buy cards all the time. And then when these came out, I know I was was pushing hard because they were so awesome. So let's take a look. As you can see, you know, you see the uh, it was foil, and then inside there was wrapped up cards, and they they had a premium look. They were thick cardstock, glossy, gold foil. They had the two photos, so they kind of were a high-end product. More so even than, than what Upper Deck had kind of introduced to the market as well. So hopefully we'll get that Wave of the Future Piazza card, but well, I guess you never know. So uh, Tino Martinez, Terry Steinbach, Greg Jeffries, all the rage. There's a cool Dennis Martinez. So they're nice glossy cards, as you can see. Nice photos. Ron Gant, Mariano Duncan, and Doc Gooden. So... Very cool. Yeah, these just blew my mind as a kid. I just remember being like, this is the end of it. And I, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. And there's probably, there's definitely people out there. Leave in the comments if you were blown away by Fleer Flare or if you ever shopped at Read More. Um, you know, let me know in the comments if you had a Read More buy. I'm certain Read More's are gone. I know that one went out of business a while back. I don't live there anymore, but my parents do. Um, so. But I think if I remember correctly, 93, 94 was kind of when we started the whole like insert revolution. It really kind of started that, what we know now as hits, really, you know, looking for subsets, inserts, those types of things, parallels, I guess, too. Um, really started around 93, 94, Fleer, Donruss, uh, Tops, obviously, as well. So... Yeah, let me know if you ever shopped at Read More. If you so, there's a wave of the future, but it's not the Piazza. Obviously, it's Aaron Sele. Sele, remember him a little bit. He wasn't a big Red Sox fan, so Wade Boggs. So Eddie Murray, great, great uh, switch hitter. What does he have in his hand? Oh, it's a tape, and then. So we had a wave of the future, but it wasn't the Piazza. Got one more of these. They still are really nice cards. I mean, they do have a kind of an old school with the two photos look to them, um, being from 93, but in terms of the quality, they're still really nice. So kudos to you. You can get a box. I mean, I paid like 10 bucks for these three packs, I think. And you can get a box of these for about 30 bucks on eBay. Like I said, they're not super valuable. Um, for me, they're just pure nostalgia, and I wanted to open some because these were, I just, I remember telling my friends, like, these are going to blow your mind. <laughs> There's a carton, not a pack. 
And they were, I'm, you know, judging by the amounts that were there, they're definitely overproduced. There's a ton of them out there. Uh, Dave Stewart was a contributing factor in the plummet of the Diamondbacks for a while. It's Edgar, or Tino Martinez, not Edgar. Frank Thomas, that's awesome. It's a nice card regardless of uh, value. Very cool. David Cohn. Ramon Martinez, Pedro's brother. Chris Hammond and Joe Girardi, future manager of the Yankees. So, really, uh, obviously this uh, Frank Thomas was the best group of that, but more so than that, it, it's, it was nostalgia for me. So, like I said, let me know in the comments. Did you collect Fleer Flair, shop at Read More? Where'd you buy your cards when you were a kid growing up learning to collect? And there's the wave of the future insert, not the Piazza. Um, but let me know. Uh, were you as blown away by Fleer Flair as I was? Because I'm telling you, like, I I, uh, I remember just being like, whoa, riding my bike home. Couldn't wait to tell my friends when I got there. So let me know in the comments. Please like the video. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. When we get to two, uh, 300 subs, we'll do a big a big giveaway as well. Um, so I'll see you again soon. Don't stop collecting. See ya.